and welcome back to Your Reach 120. I'm Jeff Cliff, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as a student of computer science at the University of Virginia. And today we're going to be talking about one of the more powerful tools that I was taught about uh, as a student, uh, and that is truth tables. And so up until this point in this series, the only logical connective or truth functional or connective or whatever you want to call it that I have taught you is NAND. If you haven't seen that video, uh, go back and watch the NAND video. It's very uh, uh, educational uh, in, in that sense. But uh, there are a lot of other uh, Boolean connectives that we can describe and that we can give meaning to in terms of NAND. And I haven't actually gone and done any kind of pre-work for this video. So, so this may be a little bit longer than normal, uh, just in terms of trying to kind of deduce them. But it's just a, sort of a proof of concept that we can get using truth tables, and I'll describe how these work in, in a bit, you know, from one universal logical connective to all the others. And any expression that we would be able to make, any computer program that we would be able to make, if we really wanted to, we can make truth tables for them. Of course, truth tables are hard to make uh, in the sense that it takes a lot of busy work to make them. Of course, you could get a computer to make them for you if you really wanted to. Uh, but as we'll get into in a bit, uh, they are kind of handy. So let's start with AND. So on both sides of the connective we want, we want to put two variables, A and B. The first variable uh, because we have two variables, and I'll explain why that is in a bit. Um, we want to put two ones, or true, that have true and false. I, I use, usually prefer one and zero. One means true, zero means false in this context. And then for the other one, we have one, 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 zero, 1, 1, 1, 0. And the reason we do this is because we want to enumerate all the possible combinations of these two variables, given that they could only be 1 or true or 0 or false. And it happens, it just so happens that there are four possible combinations. And 2 to the second power, going to the 2 to the third power video, um, 2 to the second power is 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. Yeah. So there are four possibilities. Yeah, they are you know, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These four values, when viewed in binary, uh, just happen to be the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. That's kind of an aside. You don't really need to know how that works. But just so you know, there are four combinations, and these are the ones that are out there. And what we mean when we say and is that if both A and B are true, then A and B is true. And it's false otherwise. Just as we describe what A and B is, where it's not A and B, or it's true whenever this is not true. And you can write out for every A these two one one zero zeros, or you can only do it for one. It's totally up to you. As long as every line is kind of consistent with itself, that's what matters. So why why do this? Why is it important? to kind of write things out, and where did I get this from? Because what we want to do is we want to make an expression on this side that comes up with this pattern. So for example, we're going to need another one before we get to this point. Before we try to come up with an A and B one, 
Let's see if we can get a true. One of just one, 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 one. What about? Let's, let's simplify the way we're writing this here. Or this kind of circle with the dot is on the end. We start with our A, write down our B, 1010, A and B, and it's the same over here. So because these two, A and B, A and B are the same, all we have to really write down are these middle values, which happen to be 0, 1, 1, 1. And these are zero, zero, zero is one, zero, zero is one, 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 and then zero, 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 zero. So this is actually what we were originally looking for. Sort of. It's almost purely by accident, just by kind of combining NAND operations together. We were able to find that A NAND B, which is 0, 1, 1, 1 on this middle line here. A NAND B on this side is also 0, 1, 1, 1. So the two combined, so A NAND B and A NAND B, 0, 0, which is 1, 1, 1, which is 0, 1, 1, which is 0, 1, 1, which is 0 which is the same four numbers in the same combination as A and B. So one, one or true, true, uh, or the and com or connected is, comes up with one, or true. One zero is zero, zero one is zero, zero zero is zero, which is the same order, same, I, 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 I guess, description of what this is can be derived using either this symbol and what we mean by that symbol, or a combination of a NAND means using only the NAND operation. So now we know that we, when we write A and B, all we're really doing is writing a shorthand version of A NAND B NAND A NAND B. That's all we need. That's all we, we write when we write A and B. Or A, this little top hat B, which just stands for A and B. So there are different ways of writing each of these things, and you can define them in terms of each other. Let's see if we can do a different one. True. Where it's just always true. A. One one zero zero B one zero one zero and regardless of what A and B are, it's true. Simple enough. So note that this middle line is defined in terms of the, these two beside it. And using this line and this line, this B extra B line,
Here we go. So if we add A and B over here, and all this other stuff, then we get to the point where it's 0, 1, 1, 1 over here, and 1, 0, 0, 0 over here. And that, the NAND of those two operations is 1, 1, 1, 1. So what we've really just done in, in this is we've kind of layer by layer introduced more operations, more kind of relationships until we found one relationship that expresses only truth in terms of A and B, only using the NAND operation and the AND operation, which again, we were able to come up, up with a description of the AND operation in terms of the NAND operation alone. And so now, we've come up with a description of truth using the NAND operation alone, which is a little bit self-referential. But even so, if you really wanted to, and you didn't want to start with the knowledge of what true and false were, and you only wanted to start with NAND as a basic thing, you could actually get to the point where truth itself, or, or, a, or a description of, at least in terms of ones and zeros of truth, uh, is possible using only the NAND operator. Kind of a weird thing going on here. Uh, but you could do the same thing with false, and you could do the same thing with or, and not, and zor, and all the other logical connectors. Uh, NAND is powerful enough that you can go through and describe them. But again, let's look at what exactly is happening here. So the first nested part of this is you have true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. And then A NAND B, going back to the NAND video, means that the A NAND B, if A is true and B is true, is going to be zero or false. A NAND B, if A is true and B is false, is going to be one. A NAND B, if A is true or A is false and B is true, is going to be one. And A NAND B, where A is false and B is false, is going to be true, or 1. And then this middle line, combined with B, so 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. In fact, we don't even have to go that far. We can just ignore this whole thing, because we can just use that part. Actually. So 1, 0, 0, 0. This is from A and B. 0, 1, 1, 1. From A and B. NAND the two together. 0 NAND, or true NAND false is true. False NAND true is true. False NAND true is true. False NAND true is true. So again, our goal here was to come up with this combination of ones and zeros so that it's always true. And that's exactly what we came up with. So what if we want to write you know, true, or you know, a, you know, a combination of A and B that's always true, you can always have a combination of things that is always true. So for example, Let's say A is, it's raining. And B is, I'm wet. What the A true B or true B is some truth that is always true whether or not A or B is true. So maybe this function or something that would be equal to it would be something like I exist. Uh, going back to the Descartes video. That would be the same kind of answers this question for that, that purpose. And so this is always going to give you true. So you don't even have to feed in A and B, really. You can view it as a, you know, something that always gives you a function that always gives you true as its you know, uh, answer. How you define that in terms of A and B, right there. So. Um, as I mentioned, you can you can do this to other things like or or not. Uh, you can define pretty much any function in or any number in terms of these connectors. Uh, and in practice, it takes a little bit of writing to do so. Uh, but especially when when we're dealing with NAND and building circuits out of NAND gates, uh, this is how you do it. This is how you get to the point 
where you can describe something in higher level concepts only using NAND or only using lower level ideas. Go see if you can, you know, create one of these on, on your own, maybe do uh, or or B one one zero zero one zero one zero okay that one's too easy so what about A or B and hey see if you can find that uh, and if you have trouble feel free to ask for questions or guidance maybe I'll do more examples for you uh, but uh, regardless uh, you know see if you can do a couple truth tables on your own. See, see how far you can get into the making of these truth tables. Um, as usual, uh, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, there should be a Bitcoin donation address in the bottom here if you're interested in supporting these videos. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. See you in the next video.